Welcome to Prime Update. It's July 6, 2025. Take a moment to look around. Buildings rise above you, roads stretch in every direction, and people move with purpose through the city's heart. Every day we navigate this complex world, often without thinking about the hidden systems that make it all possible. But what truly shapes our world are the invisible signals from satellites high above, silently connecting every corner of the globe. These signals are the unseen threads weaving our modern lives together, enabling everything from communication to navigation. These signals guide your phone as you find your way, direct your car through busy streets, and even help power the global economy by synchronizing financial markets and supply chains. We trust this invisible infrastructure every day, rarely questioning its presence. Yet, it's a fragile system, one that's now become a new arena for global power struggles and technological competition. For decades, the American GPS network has been the backbone of this system, relied upon by billions for accuracy and reliability. But what happens when a nation decides to unplug from this global network? What are the risks and opportunities when a country chooses a different path? Right now, Iran has completed its switch from the American GPS to China's Beidou navigation system, marking a significant shift in technological allegiance. This is more than just a technical upgrade. It's a bold declaration of digital independence and a realignment of global alliances that could reshape international relations. The consequences ripple through every layer of Iranian society, from its military operations to daily life in bustling markets and even influence the wider world. The lines in the sky, once invisible and unifying, are now creating new divisions on the ground, redrawing boundaries in both digital and physical realms. Iran's switch is a glimpse into a future where digital infrastructure is just as crucial as physical borders, shaping the way nations interact and compete. The once unified digital world is fracturing into competing blocks, each with its own rules, technologies, and ambitions, setting the stage for a new era of global competition. Satellites aren't just for space exploration, they're woven into our daily lives. Every rideshare, ATM withdrawal, and online purchase relies on signals from space. This technology, called GNSS, is as essential as electricity. It powers global business, logistics, and agriculture, enabling precision and efficiency. National security depends on it. Modern warfare, guided weapons, and military coordination all require satellite navigation. The U.S. military's control of GPS has given it a strategic edge, making access to reliable navigation a top priority for nations worldwide. Our dependence is so deep that a disruption, technical failure, attack, or solar flare could cripple economies and infrastructure. That's why control over satellite navigation is now a central issue in global affairs. The invisible signals above us are the foundation of our connected world, and their control is more contested than ever. For decades, GPS was the only name most people knew in satellite navigation, guiding everything from airplanes to delivery drivers and even hikers in remote mountains. Owned by the United States and managed by the Space Force, GPS became the global standard quietly powering billions of devices and shaping how the world moves, communicates, and even does business. But today, that monopoly is over, and the world of navigation is more crowded and competitive than ever before. Russia's GLONASS, Europe's Galileo, and China's Beidou have all joined the race, each building their own networks to ensure strategic independence and technological leadership. Beidou, China's ambitious system, is now a true global competitor, offering unique features like satellite messaging and rapidly expanding its influence through the Belt and Road Initiative, reaching new users in Asia, Africa, and beyond. These four systems, GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, and Beidou, are more than just technology. They're powerful symbols of national pride, sovereignty, 
and the desire for independence in a connected world. Today, choosing a navigation system is not just a technical decision. It's a political act, signaling alignment with a particular global power and its vision for the future. The sky above us is no longer a shared commons, but a patchwork of competing constellations, each vying for influence and control over how we find our way. Iran's recent switch to Beidou is a clear pivot toward a new center of power, reflecting shifting alliances and the growing importance of digital infrastructure. The digital map of the world is being redrawn before our eyes, as nations compete for control over the invisible networks that guide us all. Our modern world is built on GPS. From navigating city streets to synchronizing financial transactions, global reliance on GPS has been both a gift and a risk. It's woven into the fabric of daily life, powering everything from ride-sharing apps to emergency response systems. What many don't realize is that the U.S. military controls GPS, and in times of conflict, it can degrade or deny access, something it's done before to protect its own interests or gain a strategic edge. For adversaries like Iran, this dependence on a U.S.-controlled system is a glaring vulnerability, exposing them to potential disruption. In a crisis, the U.S. could cripple Iran's military and infrastructure by disrupting GPS, affecting everything from troop movements to critical infrastructure. The signals themselves are weak, easily jammed or spoofed, and vulnerable to both natural and man-made interference, making them a soft target for those with the right technology. Cheap jammers and sophisticated spoofing devices have already caused chaos in conflict zones and even in major cities, disrupting navigation and communications. For nations wary of U.S. power, Building or adopting alternative navigation systems is a matter of survival and strategic independence. Even U.S. allies are developing backup options, like Europe's Galileo or Japan's QZSS, to ensure resilience and maintain critical services if GPS is ever compromised. The era of a single dominant navigation system is over. Today, multiple systems compete and cooperate in orbit reflecting a more complex and interconnected world. The rise of China's Beidou and other regional systems is a natural response to a multipolar world, where no one nation holds all the cards. Control over navigation is now a core element of national security, shaping military strategy and global power dynamics. The global digital landscape is shifting, fast, as technology evolves, so too does the race for secure, reliable navigation, redefining how nations compete and cooperate. Iran's switch to Beidou was years in the making, a strategic move to escape American technological dominance. For Tehran, relying on GPS meant vulnerability to sanctions and military threats. The transition required massive upgrades, new Beidou-compatible devices, overhauled infrastructure, and retrained engineers. It was costly, but essential for sovereignty. Iran's move is a major win for China, strengthening their alliance and signaling to other nations that there's a viable alternative to the US-led system. This is digital decoupling in action, a blueprint for countries seeking independence from Western technology. Iran's digital shield is now firmly in place, reshaping its economy, military, and global standing. For ordinary Iranians, the switch to Beidou brought chaos. Ride-sharing and delivery apps glitched, navigation failed, and incomes dropped. Wealthier citizens with new devices adapted quickly, but most struggled with outdated, incompatible hardware. The digital divide deepened, making access to essential services a matter of affordability. Farmers and fishermen faced costly upgrades or lost access to vital navigation tools. Over time, the situation improved, but the disruption was a stark reminder. Digital independence comes with real human costs. High-level geopolitical decisions can upend daily life. The price of sovereignty was paid by ordinary people. 
While civilians struggled, Iran's military gained a strategic edge. With Beidou, Iran's missiles and drones are no longer vulnerable to U.S. GPS control. Secure, reliable navigation and satellite messaging have boosted Iran's deterrence and operational confidence. The switch deepened Iran's military alliance with China, enabling joint exercises and advanced hardware integration. The Middle East's balance of power is shifting, with Iran now operating on a secure, independent platform. Military blocks are forming around digital infrastructure. The lines in the sky now define alliances on the ground. Iran's move is part of a global trend. The world is splitting into digital blocks. The US-led bloc, built on GPS and Western tech, faces a rising Chinese bloc centered on Beidou and Huawei. China's Belt and Road Initiative is spreading its ecosystem across Asia, Africa, and Latin America. Nations are being forced to choose sides, and integration between blocks is becoming harder. This digital divide shapes trade, finance, military alliances, and culture. The new Cold War is fought with satellites and code, not missiles. The world is being rewired along invisible lines. The choice of navigation system is now a declaration of allegiance. The digital map is the new battleground. Iran's switch marks the creation of new borders, not on land, but in the sky. Navigation systems now define digital territories and alliances. Trade, logistics, and communication are being split along these lines, fragmenting the global economy. Military interoperability depends on shared platforms, making cross-block cooperation harder and riskier. Even daily life is changing. Apps, devices, and services are tied to competing ecosystems. Traveling between blocks may soon require more than a passport. Technologies meant to connect us are becoming tools of division. Iran's story is a preview of a world where the lines in the sky redraw our reality. The future is being shaped by invisible borders above us.